keep on rocking in the free world. This is in the style of that song. We're going to show you some progressions that you could use to play in that style. So let's start with that first section I was just playing. It's kind of cool. Um, it's just a signature riff and it's cool sounding. What you're going to do is hit that low E string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times in a row. And I'm using a little bit of a mute with the, the side of my picking can too. And then D power chord, C power chord. Pretty simple chords there. So let me do it nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there's another way you could do that same progression with uh, open chords. And uh, it will be E minor, D, C. So it's E minor, five, six, seven, eight, eight times of that. And after I do the, the little up, down, up at the end of the C there. And that can be played, say you have two guitar players. One can be played on an electric guitar. And the other one's going. All right, let's go on to the next section. G, D, C. And it's gonna hit a little second fret of the fifth string, which is a B note to E minor. So let me show you. So G, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. D. Same strong, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then C. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then. C, the B note to E minor. Then at the end of the chorus part, it goes to an A. Build an A. Okay. Back to that part again. All right, and, and then it has leads in there and you can improvise, but this is made to have you have uh, an easy song you can play quickly and it's fun. You can play with multiple guitar players. You can get a friend to play the drums and jam it out and get a bass player in there. and will be a lot of fun. So that's the main parts of, of that one. Get to work, have some fun with it.